fastest growing electric car company in the world is certainly not Tesla or BYD, it's actually Geely. And some of Geely's new electric cars are absolutely mind blowing guys. I'll be actually attending Geely's factories in November. So in only about a month's time to check out some of their incredible battery technology. But first of all, let's have a look at some of their EVs. One of their EVs, people have been talking about the BYD Seagull as being this revolutionary car, it only cost 11,000 US dollars. Yeah, nah, I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as this. And this is cheaper. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big shout out and thank you to all our Patreons, YouTube members. Um, really appreciate your support. Couldn't do this without you. And even those who recently donated to our GoFundMe campaign, really appreciate you as well. Anyhow, Geely. The Geely Geom Ying Wan. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to say Ying Wan or Xing Wan has entered the market starting at 9,900 US dollars. It has 310 kilometers and 410 kilometers of range, depending on which model you get. But honestly, have a look at a BYD Seagull and have a look at this. This is bigger, more modern, has more range, looks better. Anyway, price starts at 9,900. The most expensive version of this car costs 14,000 US dollars. Longest range version has a 410 kilometer range. But one of the things people probably don't know is that in recent comparison tests with some of these YouTubers in China, they've been saying Geely's cars, Geely's new EVs are significantly better and cheaper than an equivalent BYD electric car. So you can't you can't yell at me for saying that. I'm just telling you the, the, the objective truth. They are saying that that's the case across the board. Geely are clearly investing more into electric cars and to, into EV battery technology than BYD is. And this is the result of that investment. So in terms of size, this car is definitely bigger than the BYD Seagull. It's 4.135 meters long, so 4,135 millimeters, and it's 1.8 meters wide. Wheelbase is 2,650 millimeters. It fits five people, probably wouldn't want to be in the back with two other people if you're an adult. But anyway, Rage, the cheapest version for $9,900, has 310 kilometers of CLTC range, and it gets a 58 kilowatt motor. That's 78 horsepower. It has 130 newton meters of torque. Doesn't sound very powerful, but for a car this size, that's all the power you're going to need. If you get the more expensive version, it has 410 kilometers of range. It has an 85 kilowatt motor. That's 114 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque meaning it could easily do 130 kilometers an hour or about 75 miles an hour on the freeway. The Moose Test speed, it's actually good. It did it at 75 kilometers an hour. Top speed is 140 kilometers an hour, zero to 50 acceleration. That's for most people. You know, most of the time you're accelerating fast from zero to 50. That's 3.9 seconds. So that's more than fast enough. Both models come with Cadle batteries. It doesn't use Geely's golden battery. I believe that could be because uh, Geely are kind of maxed out with their production of the gold. The golden battery, it's going into other cars, the short blade battery. So they decided to use lithium ion phosphate batteries from Cadle. But those are the new Cadle batteries that have an energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram, much, much higher energy density than an equivalent BYD blade battery, which is at 165 watt hours per kilogram. And that's the reason why. Even with a pretty small battery, only a 30 kilowatt hour battery, it gets 320 kilometers of CLTC range. The bigger battery pack is a 40.1 kilowatt hour battery pack, also lithium ion phosphate cable battery, and it gets, like I said, 420 kilometers of range. But both batteries actually do have Geely's Shindun battery safety system, which is like a thermal management battery system that prevents thermal overload in the case of a crash. That's how fires usually begin. And Geely say that this new uh, thermal management protection system means that these batteries are extremely unlikely to ever be involved in any kind of fire, even if you're involved in a significant accident. So safety, very, very, very important for these for Geely. And that's one of the key issues here with you know lithium batteries. They can catch fire in a crash. If you're in a crash in this car, very, very unlikely. 
charging. It's not a particularly fast charging car. It takes 21 minutes to go from 30 to 80%, but I guess that's probably enough for most. For what this, this is more of a city car, obviously. External discharge. So how fast can you do vehicle to load or vehicle to anything else? It's 3.3 kilowatt, which is okay. I mean, for this price, it's pretty good. Now, at, for $10,000, you would think it's probably not a very safe car, but it is. And looking at that interior, it's also got a beautiful interior. It has adaptive cruise control. It has, uh, I believe, six airbags, traffic sign recognition, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking. And it also has a symmetrical so-called layout. An 8.8-inch LCD instrument panel is right in front of the driver. Plus, there is a 15-inch screen in the middle of the car, 14.6-inch to be exact. What else does it get? Well, it has Geely's Galaxy Flyme Auto, which is kind of their, um, their new in-car infotainment system, which this includes in China, Alibaba's AMAP, high car car connection, a 50 watt wireless fast charging uh, for your mobile phones, and Geely's new voice assistant system. In addition to that, it also gets a remote control, I'm not sure what you do with that, but it also has 256 color ambient lights, over-the-air updates, keyless entry, four speakers, driver's seat, six-way manual adjustment. So, you know, not electric adjustment, but manual and co-pilot four-way manual adjustment. Now, is this the kind of car that could come overseas? Would Geely plan on selling this outside of China? If you're a distributor for Geely and you ask them, if you give them an order and you say, you know what, we're going to sell your other cars, Geely. Uh, we want this car. And you and Geely, Geely would just probably say to you, yeah, okay, minimum order is... 10,000, 5,000, whatever it may be. And then you'll be able to sell this car. This is definitely a global car. This is not some Chinese special, right? This is a global car that actually has a structural battery pack. It has, you know, really good high quality lithium ion phosphate batteries with a very, very good thermal management protection system. It has all the safety systems you need. This is the kind of car that would get a five star Euro NCAP safety test um, without any modifications needing to be made to it. It's bigger than a BYD Seagull. It's cheaper than a BYD Seagull. And you can see that with the interior volume, right? It has a 70 liter front trunk, a 10 liter glove box, 20 liter storage compartment below the center console and 375 liter boot, which is bigger than some EVs that are much bigger than this, right? It's actually got a similar size boot to the Zika X. Yeah, you can see what I mean by the interior space of this car. 1,320 liters of space if you fold down the rear seats. This thing is the real deal. And if you're talking about automakers, Detroit being scared of the BYD Seagull, well, if they're scared of the BYD Seagull, they should be very, very scared of this. Mm -hmm.